Aloha, my name is Dr. Stephanie Hahn, and I'm here to give you a basic little writing tip today. And this is the significance and importance of a beginning, middle, and end. There are many people who, um, they have a great idea, they start writing, and they can't figure out what is going on. Um, it seems like their story is falling apart. A lot of this has to do with story structure, but at the rock, at the rock bottom level, you have to remember that every story has to have a beginning and a middle and an end. You would be surprised at how many people forget this basic idea. Um, you know, the, the nuance and the pacing and the rhythm of beginning, middle and end are often different right? And these ideas vary from cultural tradition to cultural tradition, depending on how we were trained to read and write and our expectations of story. But the vast majority of people um, now, currently, I speak of primarily American English writers or British English writers um, or Australian English or Canadian English writers, just English writers in general. They um, are following an idea of a Western canonical tradition which dictates a certain kind of pacing and prioritizes a beginning, middle, and end. So there's an expectation when you pick up a story that you will see these three phases quite clearly. Now, what I like to posit to you is the expectations that we bring to a particular art form also determine our experience. So um, when we pick up a book, when we pick up a short story, this is the deliverance that we are expecting. So you must provide it, okay? Um, this is what the contract roughly is between the writer and the reader. And even if the reader is just one other person, this is what the reader is expecting. So that's it for today. My little hint, make sure that every single story you write has a beginning, a middle, and an end. It doesn't have to be a tidy ending. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, a really long beginning. We just need clearly those three phases, okay? And um, that ought to help you along. Um, if you want some more writing tips, hit subscribe. And uh, please subscribe to my Substack newsletter at drstephaniehan.com. I'll be giving out some more writing tips and look forward to seeing and hearing from you soon. Cheers. Aloha. Maybe I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.